turn now to concerns over the state saltwater fish of Virginia and efforts to protect that species before its numbers decline any further. Yeah, new coastwide regulations are now in place for the Atlantic striped bass. WFXR's George Nolov joins us to explain why. Hey, George. Hey, Drew Stoney. Put simply, this is a high stakes game of beat the clock. How y'all doing there, folks? We came close to losing Atlantic striped bass once. Fisheries managers say they don't want to chance that happening again. Striper spawns have been way off the last five years, and the striper biomass has been on a steady decline. They're not in danger of a collapse yet. That's why the Atlantic State's Marine Fisheries Commission took some pretty strong action this week. There is nothing more iconic on the Chesapeake than a trophy striper on the end of a line. Oh, oh man. Baby. Oh, my God. Oh, but that's a scene that could be in big trouble. We really need to act now to make some changes so that the situation doesn't grow any worse. That's Maryland DNR Fishing and Boat and Services Director Lynn Fagley. Maryland and Virginia share the Chesapeake Bay, and the Chesapeake is the primary spawning ground for Atlantic stripers. 70 to 90 percent of all striped bass are born in the Chesapeake. Here's Alex McRickard of the VDWR. Then our larger migratory fish that have come in to spawn are going to make their way out of the Chesapeake Bay in the latter part of the spring and ultimately chase cold water and food sources up the Atlantic coast. Although the spawning biomass is below the level we'd like to see it, there's still plenty of fish out there to create a strong year class. We are not back at the levels that we were in 1985 before we went to a moratorium. That moratorium lasted into the 90s, and that allowed striper numbers to rebound to some of their highest levels ever. So, when numbers were swinging, the ASFMC put a plan into place to restore striper numbers to mid-90s levels by 2029. But recent research shows that overfishing and poor spawns have put that goal almost out of reach. You want to keep reeling? Reel down. So the ASMFC has adopted emergency restrictions that reduce commercial harvest quotas by 7% and implement a 19 to 24 inch slot harvest limit on the Chesapeake with a one fish a day bag limit. Same bag limit on the Atlantic and a 28 to 31 inch slot limit there. The idea is to protect breeder aged fish, especially the 2015 year class, which was the last good spawn, so that we can have more scenes like this in the future. In the net. The commission's decision did not come without some debate and controversy. Striped bass provide an economic impact by some estimates of more than a billion, that's billion with a B, dollars. And they are the primary species for some fisheries along the Atlantic coast. So balancing the pain restrictions would create against the long-term goal of preserving the species was a concern. But in the end, the decision was made to absorb short-term pain now in exchange for long-term gain, long gains in the future. George, you talked about that moratorium back in the 80s. Any chance of that happening again? Man, I hope not. Fisheries managers are using that as a lesson. The same warning signs over harvest, bad spawns, they were ignored. Even though they were observed back then, the species almost collapsed. It led to no harvest for five years. Those managers say they won't ignore it this time. Yeah, hopefully something that we don't have to deal with now. No.